Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and lo and behold, we have made it to week 12. All of our contingency plans are out the window, which means more than likely we will see a full season of fantasy football, which makes me a very happy individual, because I get to talk some playoff scenarios. So, without further ado, let's dive in, and boy, oh boy, do we have a ton of playoff scenarios to go over. So, we'll start with the most obvious. After coming back down to earth in week 10 with zero victory points, Kevin and the K Express rebounds nicely with a dominant six victory point win. That dominant win clinches first place for the 2019 champ once again, and barring a crazy scoring output by Brandon, all but clinches the top points prize for Kevin as well. Good job, man. So after that, Herman, Eric, myself, and Brandon, we have all clinched a playoff spot regardless of what happens this week but the seeding is really up in the air. Right now, Herman holds the second place spot by a slim one victory point lead, but you also have the least amount of points too, which could also derail your second seed in case of a tie. So Herman, bro, it's real simple. Get six victory points and you secure the second seed. If not, you're gonna need some help. One victory point less could potentially open the door for Eric to grab that second seed. As far as the third seed goes, all you need, Eric, is five victory points and you secure at least that three seed and a first round bye, no matter what happens. As far as that four seed is concerned, the pressure is all on me as Brandon holds a 50 victory point, I'm sorry, a 50 point lead on me. Anything less than six victory points potentially puts me in jeopardy of dropping down to the five seed. I'm sure Brandon would have no problem with, with that as that would give him a first round buck. So moving on, John currently holds the sixth seed with a three victory point lead over India and Dave. Four victory points would guarantee you that sixth spot as three victory points would not be enough as you only have a 30 plus point lead over the seventh place dollmaker. So John, just get those four victory points, bro, and do not leave it up to chance. And also, John, keep in mind, if India and John overtake you with victory points, that would throw you into the 8th spot, and at that point, the 8th seed rules would apply, which I will get into in a second. So, the 7th seed is currently occupied by India and the Dollmaker, but she only leads in points, as her and Dave have identical victory points and identical records. India, you would need 6 victory points to guarantee you that 7th spot. Anything less then you're going to need some help from Dave. Dave knows what's at stake, so you better believe he's going to throw everything at the wall to give him the best chance at a six victory point week. So now, on to the eighth and final seed. And it's real simple. The highest score in week 12 gets you the eighth seed. And John, that's why you getting four victory points this week, at least it's so crucial because anything less and you risk dropping down to the eighth seed and at that point, you would have to outscore four other teams in order to advance to the playoffs. No pressure, brother. No pressure. <laughs> so Travis and Oniongrass, you still have a very slim chance to finish as a seven seed, but you would need a dominant six victory point game, and you would need the Dollmaker and Antarctic Monkeys to both get zero victory points. That's more than likely just a pipe dream, bro. So just put your best team out there and get the best score possible. And lastly, Goose, Joe, and Billy. The eighth seed is your only chance, guys. Put your best team out there and hope for the best. It should be a hell of a finish. Good luck to everybody this week and enjoy your holiday tomorrow. We'll talk again soon.